Welcome back, it's me Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review, and today will be a special double feature as we feature two action figures from Hasbro's Star Wars The Black series. We have two characters from the film Star Wars Rogue One. On our left, we have Galen Erso, and our, on our right, we have Saw Gerrera. Um, it's great that after all these years, I believe we're coming up on the 6th anniversary of Rogue One, that we're finally getting um, these action figures in Black Series form. Uh, they're long overdue. Uh, Saul Guerrero, you know, we've seen multiple figures of him. I'm not sure, wait, multiple might be an overstatement. We've seen <laughs> at least one other release of this character um, in the 3 and 3 quarter line. Um, I believe he was like, uh, in a box set of four figures, you know, the smaller ones. Uh, Galen Erso, on the other hand, I think this might be the first time we're getting them. Um, they're great looking figures. Uh, you know, in terms of the, the character likeness, very spot on to like the real actors. And it's, it's great. All right. So the reason why we're doing a double feature is because <laughs> I kind of feel like, uh, Galen Erso is kind of, he's, let's be honest. He's a cool character in the film but he makes for a very boring action figure. You know, there's nothing exciting about this guy um, other than, you know, he has, you know, he's wearing his Imperial research uniform. And I'm not sure what that is. Maybe that's a, it doesn't look like the data disc that Jin takes, you know, from Scarif at the end of the movie. So maybe this is like a data pad or something. Uh, Saw, on the other hand, looks friggin' amazing. Lots of detail. It's, as you can see, he's packaged in a deluxe box because you're getting a lot more with this figure i kind of feel like if they really wanted to they could have you know gave us a solo standard release of this guy in this box but you know there is a lot going on he does have more accessories and this is costume alone is kind of nuts so yeah we're gonna do a, a double feature one boring looking action figure and one exciting looking one um on the side of the box, we have some beautiful character artwork. They both look fantastic. Uh, so, uh, Galen Erso was coerced into using his uh, kyber crystals to enhance energy yields. Uh, his work then uh, weaponized to create the Death Star's uh, super laser. So it's almost like the equivalent of the, you know, the guy who invented the atomic bomb. You know, think of Galen like that. You know, he's kind of, <laughs> he's responsible for creating this horrible weapon. Uh, but at the same time, you know, he has a conscience and he, you know, he, he kind of like sabotages the Death Star with like some sort of crazy failsafe. So, or at least some sort of vulnerability to it. So the rebels have a chance to disarm it. Uh, so we have Saw Guerrera, Guerrera, um is bunkered on the ancient world of Jetta, coordinating a prolonged insurgency against the Imperial occupation. His ailing health does little to uh, wither his resolve to fight. So Saw Gerrera, he's a rebel, but he's kind of like on the extremist end. You know, if you've read some of the novels or the comic books, they kind of go into that. Um, you know, even in the Clone Wars cartoon, when they first introduce him, you know, he kind of has an extremist view of things um i think the character did not dynamic between these characters or the, the i think that the relationship between these characters is very interesting um they didn't really explore it in the films you know early on in the movie when the imperials um come to like galen's home you know to take him away you know prior to that he kind of sends a communication to saw to come get to come get them and you know, the, they hint at a relationship between these characters, uh, which I find very fascinating. And it's, I think for me, what I even find more fascinating is the fact that, you know, uh, Jin's essentially raised by Saw. So, um, Jin's kind of like Saw's adopted daughter. And I think, you know, there's a very tragic story there that I think would, would be awesome if they explored that. And I don't remember how to open these boxes. How do I open these? Alright, it's gonna take me a while. I don't wanna. Alright, so if you watch my videos, I don't wanna destroy these boxes because I actually do um, keep these mint on card, mint in box, and I, ha I have all my. I have like 90% of 
uh, my Black Series figures all hang on a wall, and they look great. It really annoyed me when they changed the package design to this newer version. And, and cripes, I can't figure out how to open this. <laughs> all right, I'm making a mess here. I like pretty much just cut through every piece of tape on here trying to figure out how to open this box. All right, so we have one boring looking action figure and let's get the exciting one uh, action figure out. I'm really excited that they're bringing back Saw Gerrera for the um, casting and or show. It'll be interesting to see, you know, his backstory. Like, I'm not sure how big of a role he's going to have in the series. I mean, you know, maybe it's a couple of episodes. Um, I'm kind of keeping my fingers crossed that maybe we'll even see, like, a younger Jin Urso. Alright, so first impressions of both action figures while they're in the tray. Really excited for this guy, not so much for this one. <laughs> like I said, this guy's cool. Um, oh, we have, we have Hannibal Lecter slash Grindelwald right here. And it's cool. It's it's a nice figure. You know, if you love this actor and, and you just want to create, you know, a, a custom action figure that doesn't look like he's in Star Wars, take off the head, you know, maybe put him in a suited Marvel Legends body and, you know, it's a completely different thing. Uh, speaking, though, of costumes, um, this body, as generic as it looks, if you if you're looking to, like, uh, build out your imperial ranks and let's say you want more um, you want more characters in your imperial, imperial army other than stormtroopers you know I think this is a great generic body you know buy a couple of these do head swaps and you could kind of create your own like imperial like research team or lab lab crew uh, if you if you want to go even further you know scrub off the um, emblem on the shoulder uh, glue on some ranking uh, pins onto his chest and you can have some sort of imperial officer or deck officer and he does come with this little kind tiny uh, data pad I think that's what that's supposed to be and then over here we have Saw Gerrera this is what I've been waiting for for years um, I even made a custom Lego minifig of Saw Gerrera I like the character that much um, he comes with his staff slash walking stick, his pistol. Really cool looking figure. The bodysuit kind of kind of flaps around a little as you can see here. I think you could, you can actually remove it if you wanted to. I think you'd have to pop the head off first though. And then on the back here's his cape. Um, I'm not 100% sure but I think this cape might be re might represent the flag of his um, home world I think. Uh, if I remember the story correctly, it's been for it's been ages since I watched Clone Wars. But I think when they, they introduced him in Clone Wars, I think uh, Saw Gerrera and his sister were like leaders of an of an like uh, an insurgency on a certain planet that well, I think was being invaded by the uh, the Federation, uh, the Trade Federation, and I think they sent you know the clones and the clone armies and I can't remember which character it might have been Luke or Obi not Luke it might have been Anakin or Obi-Wan or even Ahsoka even or was it Rex all I remember is that when they introduced this character he was with his sister and they were leaders of some sort of like resistance groups and they kind of had to coordinate efforts with the um with the Republic but yeah really cool um I like both of them a lot 
Um, I would love to see. Um, God, I'm trying. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to remember which version of Saw this represents, because I think there's two, right? When we see him in the movie, like early on, they introduce him when he's on, when he's talking to Gale and through communications, and then there's Saw much later on when Jin's reunited with him. Because I know that there were some changes to the character's costume, like from the original trailer. Because I think in the original trailer, Saw might be bald. Or was that how he was in the beginning of the movie? I don't know. I'm so lo I'm so lost. And I'm rambling. I'm running off on a tangent. Uh, so let's look at these figures before I get too crazy. All right. So we have Gale and Urso. Um, he doesn't want to focus under my light. I think his face might be too bright. All right. There we go. A uh, very serious, somber expression. Uh, he's feeling guilty for developing the Death Star, I guess. And my light doesn't want to focus on him. There you go. Yeah, it's not the liveliest of expressions. It's very neutral, very somber. Uh, his uniform's all right. The detailing is a little bit on the softer side. You know, it, it looks kind of muddy. In some areas, it almost kind of reminds me. Not this is a, this is not a shot at the action figure, but when I first took him out, the shade of green and just the the quality of sculpting on him, it kind of reminded me of like if you go to like a zoo or or a museum, and then they have that machine, and then you'd like put like maybe like five bucks into it, and it kind of like creates. There's like a mold of like maybe like an elephant or a dinosaur, and then these two presses kind of come in and it pours in the plastic and it, when it pulls out you're left with like a plastic dinosaur or an elephant and it looks really generic it looks like a toy out of like the 50s you know this for some reason when I look at his uniform this shade of green and the level of sculpting kind of reminds me of that you know this isn't <laughs> this isn't the most eye-catching glamorous action figure you're gonna find on the planet you know chances are if you're buying this figure it's only to complete your Rogue One cast of characters Otherwise, if you're a parent and you're with your child and they want a Star Wars figure, I doubt this is the figure they're going to pick off the shelves. You know, there's really nothing exciting about Galen Urso. Uh, his head rotates, it looks down, looks up. Arms rotate, they go out. Only so, f no, they go actually go out this much. Uh, bicep swivel, um, bicep bend, articulated wrists. Swivels mid torso above the belt. Um, you could kick forward. You could kick out. Yeah, his, his skirt here kind of splits open. Kicks out about that much. Uh, cut at the upper thigh, and then double pinned knees, and then ankle articulation. And he does have nice shoes, you know, as you can see right there. Yeah, overall it's a very I don't know, plain action figure, but you know, I'm I'm into it just because I like the character, I like the actor, and I kind of just felt the need to like finally, you know, hopefully this will um, tie up a loose a few loose ends with my Rogue One collection. I know that there's more characters they can make in the Black series. You know, if they want to go for the deep cuts and give us like Lieutenant Cephla or some of the other extremists, um, but it's cool. I dig it. And now we're looking at Saw Guerrera. Um, beautifully sculpted figure. Let's get him on, on, under the hot lamp. Incredible likeness to actor Forrest Whitaker. Love the hair. Um, yeah, Hasbro really knocked it out of the ballpark with this one. This is a great, beautiful looking action figure. If you're a customizer, I, I can see a lot of potential, especially with all these extra pieces. You know, there's a lot of great customizing fodder here. You know, you can remove this body armor and cannibalize all these harnesses and straps for something else. Yeah, there's a lot going on. He has his uh, breathing mask, which is cool. And it's it's awesome. It's so detailed. It goes through that little hook there, just like in the film. And you can put it over his face. He has like a... I guess this is like an oxygen canister, if I had to guess. Holster for his pistol. Beautiful cape. 
I like the cape that it's in a neutral pose. It's not flowing around like some of the McFarlane capes. Uh, wonderful details. Really well done. Beautiful sculpt. Excellent likeness. Love the shade of blue. Yeah, this guy is 100% all new pieces, it looks like. He even comes with like a wrinkly old hand, so you know I doubt this is reused from another figure. Although it might be, you never know. Maybe this is from the Emperor, I don't know. But yeah, great figure overall. Uh, in terms of his articulation scheme, oh wow, this pl unplugs. Um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious to see how much of this guy is. You could like take apart. I don't want to just yank his head out because I'm not sure if his head pops off as easily. But if it did, it looks like you could easily remove this body armor. And underneath, here's the uniform under the armor. It's kind of generic looking. There's some ribbing, uh, some trim lines. Um, but it's kind of grotesquely cut underneath the chest. So it's not that clean of a look if you remove the body armor. Uh, this thing plugs into his chest. Yeah, it's kind of cool. So there's a lot of weird functionality with this. A lot of stuff interacts with e with each other. Like this plugs into here. This goes over his face. I like the holster a lot. This would be a great uh, customizer piece. Okay, I'm rambling again. Um, head rotates. Does he look down? Looks down a little. Does he look up? Uh, not so much. Arms rotate, but they hit the shoulder piece. They go outward, about there. Um, oh, man. This was a crazy figure. So I was trying to figure out where his elbow bends. But it's so cleverly hidden. So if you look at his arm from the side and from the front, it almost looks seamless. You have to look carefully enough to see the joints right there. But yeah, it's a pinless design, very well thought out, really clean, and it bends and it swivels. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, same here. It's a little bit more noticeable here, but still, it's really well done. Bends at the elbow, swivels. Um, articulated wrist, very standard. As I pointed out earlier, he has a cut mid-torso, so he can swivel, shake him around a little bit. You know, on those certain days, you know, if he wants to go dancing, he could go dancing. You know, when he was raising Jin, he probably took her to like Daddy Daughter Day and at the prom and, you know, had shared a dance with her. Um, legs kick up about there and he has his robot foot. Uh, kicks out about that much. I'm really curious to see how he looks in the Andor series because, you know, this is years before Rogue One. Uh, at least for the first season. So I'm kind of curious to see how much man versus robot he is. You know, I'm wondering if he's going to have both human legs when they first introduce him. And then here he's wearing his flip-flops, <laughs> which is funny. I didn't realize he's wearing flip-flops. So that's cool. He has an anklet around his um, ankle. It's probably like one of those like security anklets. He's probably like under house arrest. Yeah, so overall, very very cool figure. Um, very happy to have him. Like I said, this is a deluxe figure, so he's priced higher than this guy. I want to say I paid maybe $32, if my memory serves me right, at Target for this. Um, I believe Black Series still runs anywhere between 19 to 22 I think. I think this depends on where you got him at. All right, so let's wrap this one up. Um, once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Oh, real quick, uh, let's rate these guys. On a, one, on a scale of one to 10, uh, Galen Urso gets a six. On a scale of one to 10 for um, Saw Gerrera, easy nine to a nine and a half, which is being generous. Um, long overdue, uh, great, and it doesn't disappoint. You know, we've waited years for this figure. And what they gave us is fantastic. You know, you can finally um, pair him up with Jin or, you know, whatever. It's just unfortunate that there's no other extremist figures out yet. You know, like there's that big, white, woolly-looking guy. 
And then there's the twins. You know, there's two tubes and his brother. You know, it'd be great if we got Black Series figures of those in the future. But, who, you know, who knows? Fingers crossed. And there's even that uh, Warwick Davis alien. That, you know, that's aligned with Saw Gerrera. It'd be great if we got a figure of him also. All right, so let's wrap this up. Um, once again, I'm Lou. Uh, thanks for checking this video out. If you've been here before, you know, if you subscribe to my videos and, uh, you know, I appreciate all the support. If you're new, you know, come back again. You know, feel welcome to check out all my other videos. So until the next time, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. All right, later.